Hmm. See that Fallout loot crate? It's like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Comes with a backpack and. Honestly, I just want the hoodie. If it's only twenty bucks, that's really tempting. You can probably order already. Nice. No, haven't started. Oh, we haven't, have we? Oh, you know. have we? <laughs> oh, you did that whole sneaky thing. Yeah. I mean, we still haven't started. I mean, I edit this thing so I can say we've started. <laughs> we could start whenever we want. We could have started last week. You don't know. What? It's been recording the whole entire time. I don't take this microphone home with me. You don't know what I do at home. But you know what I do. What? You play Metal Gear Solid 5. I played a lot of Black Ops. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> cool. What, what have you been playing? Uh, where is the intro? Oh, we're already introing this right now? Hmm, we've been recording for like two and a half minutes. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you or did you not agree? You wanted to like pre podcast <laughs> better. Welcome to the newest episode of the Oldcast Podcast. My name is JD, also known as SC Prototype, and I am accompanied with the rest of the Altness crew. Well, the other two voices in this podcast. Besides Mike, he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I listened to the podcast last week. But anyway, to your imaginary left or my imaginary right, it is Mick McSpaz. Hello. I am trying to figure out the imaginary right. Cause because it doesn't make sense. I'm, okay. Okay. <laughs> fine. I will just toss it to the wind. I am in the imaginary wind. The imaginary wind? Yes. Imagination. Like all the colors of the wind. The one has was no that color. A, was that a Pocahontas song? Yes, it was. All right. Never watched it. <laughs> it's my favorite movie in '95 yeah. when I was two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The first thing I ever loved. I had plate set. I had a towel set. I had pajama set. I had the doll. And look I at had you toys. Now. What were you in 1995, Jay? Um, was it '95? Sixth grade? Why you give me that look? <laughs> I've been giving that look since po- the Pocahontas toys. But, alright, who else is with us? Oh, straight from Vault 420. <laughs> Christian Marinu. How How's are you, going? sir? Just, just got out of Vault 420. Getting some air. <laughs> Pop locks. <laughs> that fresh air. How smoky was it in there? It's pretty. It's pretty good in Vault 420. Outside of Vault 420, not so much. <laughs> the dank <of> shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you guys looking to buy anything for Black Friday? Probably gonna buy a bunch of Blu-rays for like three dollars a pop. Then get the DVD code. Then never watch them. <laughs> That's the goal. They're all ultraviolet. Oh fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> They're all inspiring, like, the day after. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I've had a couple of those. I have, had, I have some that expired, like, three years ago. Still worked. I have one yeah. that expired the day I actually got it in from Amazon. <laughs> I was like, this is some hot garbage. Yeah, I loaded one up once, and it, like, it showed that it's like, okay, it's been added, and then I went and it just, like, disappeared, and I was like, what, is was it, it because it was expired? Thing? Yeah. Yeah, Flixer is broken as hell. Like, I can't, I can't get anything to work with Flixer. Boo. Like, my ex machina code must have entered it in like 15 times. I probably know half the code by the top of my head. My boyhood worked first try. You which one? Boyhood. Oh, okay. Wait, is that ultraviolet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not buying that movie now. <laughs> I really like the movie, but ultraviolet, man. So, wait, you're going to buy the physical copy for the digital copy that you're never going to. If it's like $3, then yeah. I got <laughs> Django for four or five bucks, got the digital copy. Got Wolf of Wall Street for cheap. Got a digital copy. I think I owned that movie at one point. I don't remember. And it's on every streaming service. You can watch it whenever you want. <laughs> Movies every three minutes. Yep. And Coke, the other. <laughs> the other two minutes in between. I remember seeing like a bunch of old people when I went to go watch it. First five minutes, half of them gone. Because <laughs> you know how that movie opens. Wait, which movie are we talking Wolf about again? Wall Street. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh. Is it's it good. a sex scene? Something like that. 
That's an accurate description. <laughs> that's something that, like that. <laughs> so, I don't know, like when all the movies that I want to buy or all the shit that I want to buy, I'll go on Amazon and put it on my, my shopping list and put it for later. So, when I go to the store, I'll be like, huh, there's a sale going on. <laughs> I guess I'll get Mall Rats on Blu ray. <laughs> Mall Rats on Blu ray? I. I don't remember if it was Mallrats or Dogma that I don't, I don't own on Blu-ray. I actually owned it on HD DVD. Oof. The regret is real. Did you buy an HD DVD player, Jay? I had one for my 360. 360. <laughs> <laughs> then when I went to turn it on, like, about a year and a half ago, the, the disc tray didn't even come out. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> They lost the format, War Jay. Why would you keep it? Because it was like, why I can't sell them? People, I'd have to give money people, people to money, right. <laughs> money to people to actually take the stuff. I bet you could sell it. Like, there's some collector who wants to buy those things. Of course, <laughs> he's still a believer and he has a Betamax. He's still watching King Kong and Matrix Revolutions. <laughs> he's saving it all for a museum. <laughs> the original. Uh, what would you want to call it? The original Hulk? Oh, on God, there too. I forgot. Fuck it, HD DVD. Hey, HD DVD was not the format. Um, yeah, but like, I buy all my stuff. I put everything on a list and whatever I want on Black Friday, that's for the picking. Hmm. There's that uh, 980, 370. Oh it's never going to be that low. It's never going to be. <laughs> so, on Newegg, they, they announced that uh, their what was it their nine nine eighty was gonna go for three oh nine on Black Friday. Nice. And how much did you pay for your video card? I paid like three forty three fifty for a nine seventy. Mm, your salt tastes so good. <laughs> so does my PC. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I'm still working hey, on it. You have it. your PC? Yeah, it's in the corner. <laughs> it's in a couple pieces. Couple. I'm letting it relax and air out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let it find itself. <laughs> Let it take a year off college. Just hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Taking a gap year. But I mean, <laughs> are, are you looking to buy anything for Black Friday? I'm looking at you. PS4 is on sale, Michelle. No excuses. Three hundred yeah. for PS4 at all the places. Like if I had if I didn't have a system now, Black Friday would be the time to get it just because the deals are so crazy. But fuck people, I worked so, Black Friday last year. Amazon. Yeah, I if, worked if Black Friday last year. I had to go into work at five forty-five in the afternoon on Thanksgiving. My shift ended at two a.m. Did you get paid? Time and a half. Yeah. Well, so what you complaining about? <laughs> My Thanksgiving was for the, which is family day, and but did I, you get paid? I, I guess at some point. Do you really <laughs> love your family. Yes. Don't, don't lie to yourself. Yes. Okay. You say that with such content. You know, as I say, when I, every one out of four people loves their family. I'm four people. There are four people in this room. I am the one. Thanks for explaining my joke, but whatever. Yep. No problem. <laughs> For the people that are playing late in the game. Yeah, uh, damn it, I can't find that article. Where's what article? the new egg? I'm trying to find the new egg Black Friday deals. That was all cheap ass game, right? That's what I'm looking at. Hmm. New Death Battle Mega Man vs. Asper Boy. <laughs> Mega Man wins. It's got like 20 forms, so. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, you get it from Best Buy. You, if you spend a hundred bucks, you get a ten dollar code plus a game. A hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. Hmm. On Black Friday, uh, Costco Fries is having a Steam sale right now. Buy twenty dollar card for sixteen bucks. That's that's not a deal. Amazon uh, four bucks. PlayStation Four. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Final Fantasy Type-0 for three forty nine. Hmm. I kind of want to get Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm waiting for it to be on sale. <laughs> it's so hard to find nowadays. Oh, no. 
It's like uh, such a pain. I gotta go to a store, gotta pick it up, pay the money. It's so expensive. Toys R Us is doing buy one get one forty percent off PlayStation Xbox One games. So you could have anything for the picking and choosing for Black Friday. Hey, you know what? Call of Duty Ghost for three sixty is three dollars. You can double that. <laughs> <clears throat> that ghosts man that, that ghost though <laughs> so uh, there was a number of things that got released obviously Christian yeah. what have you been playing I've been playing Fallout I've been playing Uncharted and <laughs> Assassin's Creed oh and Pokemon so yeah wait you're playing Pokemon I got Omega Ruby just because I haven't played it in a while and I heard really good things so it was one of those, like, it's not a game I focus on. It's just, so this past weekend is Extra Life, and I would have that on in the background while I just played. And oh, so, man. Like, extra Life. Before I know it, I just knocked out the game. Everyone was doing the Extra Life. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rooster Teeth, IGN, Reddit. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm thinking, you heard it here first, exclusive. I might be trying to get Oldness to do Extra Life next year. Definitely, I have. I know a couple people from Comic Palooza that actually handle this card, so cool. I'll get you in touch with them. Great, thanks. <laughs> Sorry about that. Probably should have said that before. <laughs> uh, what have you been playing? Uh, <laughs> cards. <laughs> uh, I got asked to play Insurgency because it was one dollar on Steam over the weekend, but I didn't actually play it because I was really tired because school is really stressful right now because it's approaching soon to be like finals. I feel like final or no, were those midterms that just happened? Midterms keep happening. Because I could. That doesn't make sense. They're like mid. Because there was like that one. There was that one week I could find parking, and I was like, "Oh, this is nice. People are starting to drop out." And then midterms happen. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, I thought that would be like the third uh, week. <laughs> they're starting to die down again. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Three days in a row, I've managed to park in the close parking lot instead of having to cross the street. <sighs> but that's that, how you get your cardio in. No, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> that sounds overrated and sweaty. Yeah, I've been walking across campus a, a lot lately, so getting my exercise in that way. And it's getting hot and humid again. It's terrible. It's great. Where's fall? 80 degrees in fall. Loving it. Yeah, I went from like a hot cup of coffee to like a cold cup of coffee, then a hot cup of coffee. <laughs> I just All always, the same day. I always keep it a hot cup of coffee. I don't even drink coffee. You are coffee. <laughs> <laughs> the darkest coffee. <laughs> the dankest coffee. <laughs> um, I've been playing Black Ops 3. I How put like- down Metal Gear for the first time. I actually took it out of the out of the PlayStation first time since launch. I mean, oh, now, that you got, now that you got your fancy new arm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm lifting all sorts of things, like pens, <laughs> <laughs> remotes. I almost had a glass of water. <laughs> almost. Almost. It, it when, spilled? Huh? Did it spill? It did spill. Hmm. So I went to shot glass. Spilled all over his yes. hand. That doesn't work anymore. <laughs> Defunctional hands. <laughs> but, I mean, like, Black Ops isn't all that bad. People are like really downing it and stuff like that. Zombies mode has Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah, zombies mode is amazing. Actually, I've actually been playing that a little bit. Isn't Jeff Goldblum in, in zombies mode? Yes. Yeah. He's got a mustache. Fuck. So is Hellboy. What's his face? Ron, Ron Perlman. Yeah. Because he's always in everything, and he's always the big dude too. Well, yeah, he played Hellboy. Yeah. And Slade. Kind of. Kind of fits it. Didn't he play a different voice role too? I wouldn't doubt it. He tends to do that. He tends to do all the big characters. But I mean, Metacritic has been given Black Ops. Mm, what was it? Uh, it was eighty-two, and then four point seven for user. Yeah. Which is pretty standard issued for yeah. any new game. Because people either give it a ten or a one, so it just balances in between. What What was uh, Fallout getting so far on Metacritic? Uh, I didn't see what fall I got. It was... Well, the last time I checked, it was 9.5s across the board on a lot of the media stuff. Yeah, for reviews. For reviews, so I'm only guessing it's like 8, 9, mm-hmm. somewhere up there. And then, again, 4.1 user crit, um, 
review. <laughs> yeah. As of this recording moment, Metascore is 87 with a user score 4.8. Yep. It's still, that's still a good score. It's still pretty good. You know what people were complaining about, too, about that? That people were saying it's, it's like, uh, it's like The Sims meets, like, Farmville in a post-apocalyptic world. You gotta say, that was one of the things that drew me to the game when I saw the announcement of E3. (laughs) Oh, the settlement building stuff? Yeah. That, I was like, I don't want to do any of this. (laughs) I don't, I don't like this whole, like, the make your own fun elements of games. No, I just want to stick bombs into people's pockets and watch them freak out and they explode. Yeah. And then go into VATS mode and watch it see it all in (laughs) slow-mo. But yeah, I've heard that a lot of people have been complaining about, like, having to carry around trash because everything, you can now modify everything with trash. Oh, yeah. You could just pick up anything, anytime. It's Mm -hmm. the Bioshock Infinite thing. Okay. Yeah, so there's people that are just like, I have to pay attention to everything now. I have to collect everything because I could use it later on. All the, the klepto people are just going insane. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I will need this book and a candle and this last drawer in this refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's me in Skyrim, so I can see that being me in Fallout. The only one of my friends was actually complaining about it. He goes, uh, Immersion's broken. When they were like, oh, look, a kickball. And you could kick the ball and stuff like that. But if you try shooting at it, nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Two out of ten. <laughs> Two out of ten. Fail. Ruined. <laughs> but, I mean, what other stuff have we found in in Fallout altogether besides, you know, reviews have been okay. Mm-hmm. Well, well, stellar and okay, depending on who you're asking. Um, I know it looks real nice on PC when you're running 970. <laughs> Yeah, you know everything on Ultra. Jesus. Yeah. Does it look like a brand new game? I mean, graphically it looks the same, but still, <laughs> knowing I have it on Ultra is enough for me. <laughs> so, did you get to? Does, does your name play in the game? Yep. He says it. It freaked me out the first time. Was, what the fuck is happening? But he says my name, Michelle. According to the list that I, is ever growing, he does not say my name. He says boob, boobies, booby, ass face. Because that's more popular than Michelle. Let's I be mean, real. there was like a grobnack or something like that name, but know, not Michelle. I know more ass faces than I know Michelle, so. That was also one of them, yeah. How funny it be it's just one person be like, I'm going to create the game? <laughs> ass face. Restart. <laughs> New save. Ass oh. face. <laughs> I was hoping they would have Bort in there. <laughs> Bort? <laughs> they do not have Bort. At least not according to the list right now. I I know damn well my name's not going to be in there. Journal? Yeah, that, close <laughs> enough. Thanks, asshole. The thing Siri always <laughs> says anytime Mike calls you. <laughs> Calling Journal Donovan. God damn it. <laughs> um, and you, you listed on here, too, that there's cheat codes already? For PC version, yeah. It's, well, I guess it's... They're well, mostly, Martin. they're mostly like code lines that you have to input. Like the classic IDKFA from Doom. Oh, this might be before your time. It, it's to me, yeah. it's more like, well, kind of like The Sims with their cheat codes. I don't know how you would actually input it, but it's a bunch of console and yeah, it's a bunch of like actual lines of code. You're but, really hacking. <laughs> How funny it would be if you had to have like a hack skill all the way up and able to enable a cheat code? <laughs> that would be terrible. I can't remember the last time I used a cheat code. Like even Saints Row Four came with them. Like cause on PC, you just enable cheats like that. Yeah. And it was like, eh, I don't want to do this. I'd rather just kind of work my way up. I think cheat codes initially died for me when achievements started becoming a thing. Yeah, and turning on cheat codes turns off achievements. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I was like, oh man, Tony Hawk. No. <laughs> well, I kind of want those 50 points. <laughs> if you want to open cheats and add cheats in order to get to the console and PC and Fallout 4, all you have to do is press the tilde key. So it is break console. Mm-hmm. This will bring up console. And then a really easy one that you can add is TGM. Is God mode. What, are, what do you think TGM stands for? I don't know. The God mode. Yeah, but pretty much. Also, sex change, all one word. You can change your male character to a female or vice versa. Sex change, one word. I mean, you figured they add, 
after playing it, and they ask you like three times if you want to change sex <laughs> before you get out of the vault. <laughs> so I figured, who's like that indecisive? <laughs> Things to be able to change it on a dime. Are you sure, Caitlin, you want to go out there? <laughs> oh, one of the words is, like one of the names that he says is DiMaggio. Deatric. Let me go down try to find some other crazy ones. Wait, let me try to find that crazy G1 that was... G1? Yeah, there's Gravato. Grognak. G-R-O-G-N-A-K. Oh, Grognak? I know that dude. Yeah. That was me talking oh, about. fuck, fucker, fuckface. Grognak Furiosa Johnson, my friend. And Imperator. Friend. You can have a Fallout character named Imperator Furiosa. And he will nice. say it. Nice. <laughs> and uh, Max Rokitansky. So, uh... Mad props to Mad Max in Fallout 4. Huh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. That'd be pretty cool though. Easter but you're, it's not like it's not like a sand wasteland. Yeah. They should make like a Mad Max video game. <laughs> what? <laughs> That'd be really cool if it had like Batman combat with set in a desert. I'd play that. So they they talked about there's bugs in there too? Yeah. I mean it's a Bethesda game. Of course there's bugs. Yeah, bugs are kinda of their thing. <laughs> they cornered the market on bugs. I thought that was I thought that was, no, that is Activision. One of my favorite two glitches are both in Skyrim, a Bethesda game. Hmm. The goat that climbs the ladder and the random villain like things attacking you and then when they die they're like crumbled up in the sky. Hmm. And they fly off. I remember when, like, uh, when Skyrim first came out, there was just ungodly amount of glitch videos on YouTube. Yeah, I've already seen a glitch video of Fallout, actually. He's, like, picking up some kind of, it looked like a jetpack. And then he's just carrying it. And then he just flies off. I've seen one where the guy's walking upstairs, and then the UI for the Pip-Boy takes over the the walls. (laughs) And, like, it's for a split second. Like, if it's a certain position inside the wall... That he uh, the certain position in the map, but if he walks, it continues to be the rest of the map. But if you stand in the one position, you could see like the Pip Boy walls and everything. Huh? It's weird. Um, I think it was Polygon that posted up that picture, mm. or it was on Reddit. Yeah, mine was on my Facebook feed, so I have no idea where it came from. But it was pretty funny. Do you think they're gonna patch it? I mean, they could patch to a certain extent, but a game that large, I'm not sure how you like patch every little thing. Yeah. Games that big don't really get patch that way no you just yeah. enjoy the glitches i mean look at look at grand theft auto yep um, look at skyrim major nelson just sort of put out a list of the backwards compatible stuff for xbox so apparently as of while we're recording this there's going to be a new ui overhaul for xbox one you the really new... couldn't think of a segue no you, we were talking you, the last note was fallout 3 how do you play fallout 3 well Hey, backwards That's compatibility. Right. Jeez. I, you know what? <laughs> See, I do it better. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I listened to it last week. You didn't do it. I am better. <laughs> actually. It, it's actually on that list. I was about to say, is it? <laughs> it's actually I was on like, I'm actually not sure if it is or yeah, not. Because the Xbox One version of Fallout 4 comes with 3. Yeah. I don't know if it's a physical copy or a download copy. I think it's, it's like a download, download code. code yeah. It's got to be download. Everything's going download now. Yeah. But they, they listed, what, almost 100 games? Yeah, they're like 104 or something, based on the headline I read. What I'm looking at at the list, though, like, a good percentage of them are either Microsoft titles, which is, I understand, mm-hmm. and Xbox Live titles. I mean, anything from... I, I, the ones that stuck out to me were Battle Block Theater, Castle Crashers. Can't you play Battle Block on a 1 right now? Because they... Made that HD collection, the right? Cl- Castle Crashers one made HD. Okay. Um, Crazy Taxi, uh, Doom One, Doom Two, Fallout Three. Who would have thought? <laughs> that hot new game, Fallout Three. Yeah. You could play all th- all four of the Gears of Wars, even though they got Gears of War One got re released. Well, isn't Halo Reach on the list, which was the one Halo game that didn't make it into Master Chief Collection? The Spartan Assault. Spartan Assault didn't got, did not make it. No, it was on the list. Oh, it is on the list. But that was the that's the arcade game. I don't. Yeah, that's the overhead, the top. The down. RTS. Yeah. Yeah. 
Which I, I've heard good things about it. I heard it was like stupid hard also. Yes. <laughs> But most of the games here are uh, ex- arcade games, which I'm previous to. I used to be a Xbox Live like member for like nine years. God, tenure. <laughs> ten- tenure. <laughs> tenure. Tenure. <laughs> and uh, like that was the one thing that really broke me about the Xbox One. I was like, I can't play any of the thousand games that I bought on Xbox. Yeah, that's. And, I kind of had to get used to that with PS4. Because I bought tons of online games online from the network based on those sales. Yeah. And it's like, well, I guess I got to roll with everything new because they won't do backwards compatibility. And that's why I still have my PS3. Because, yeah. Because, like, Plus is still giving away free games. Yeah. Yeah, my friend recently bought an Xbox One and she was worried about, like, doing a trade-in with her 360 because of the backwards compatibility. Well, she's in luck. Yep. Well, then. She could also play Viva Pinata. Ooh. <laughs> Weird face. <laughs> hey, Viva Pinata is like the lava lamp of, of video games. The lava lamp. Just have it on in the background. <laughs> well, yeah, because it's like shit eating other shit instead <laughs> of a forest. You're like, oh, I can't do anything about this. I'll just bait another pinata to eat itself. It's like flow on PS3. Yeah. Just kind of turn it on and let it live. I remember when like Flow came out and like I was like it's stoked because there was not a lot of games out for PS3. Yep. I was like, oh, you are an organism. <laughs> cool. Just keep swinging. That's later. That is, yeah. You should have moved it. In the move it bed. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. We still have more game news. So out in Frisco, Texas, you could also, in December, yeah, um, they're opening up the National Video Game Museum. Would you say that Viva Pinata could become a classic? No. Uh, do you know what cla- like classics go in museums? They do. Mm. Even Centipede made it into the Smithsonian. Nice. Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's a Centipede machine in the Smithsonian. Huh. But... There's now going to be a National Video Game Museum here in Texas. I say we do a road trip. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> let's do it. It's Frisco, which is the left side of Dallas. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Right on. <laughs> Did the Dallas part sell you? I, well, what if it was like closer to El Paso? Uh, or like uh, up in the Panhandle? <laughs> That's a long drive. So you're going to see stuff like... Uh, Sega's Neptune prototype, Atari Mindlink controller, uh, and anything that was pretty much historical for video games in the past 25 years. So the Power Glove? Probably going to be there. <laughs> I, I would bet a Power Glove would be there. I want a Power Glove still. <laughs> I don't think my arm could fit in a Power Glove. <laughs> they should have a guy in a Sonic costume in a glass cage. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Oh no! What they need to have is one of those like motorcycle cages, and have the dude in like motorized heelys in a Sonic costume. Oh, are you trying to like recreate the nineties? <laughs> <laughs> heelys are early two thousands. Jeez. What's anything? No wait, late two thousands, mid two thousands, somewhere. Mid, I want to say. Yeah, mid. I think it was mid two thousands. But I mean, it's anything in the past twenty five years. So you can see stuff from Atari, Nintendo, Sega, all going to be over there. Sega. Just incredibly old stuff. <laughs> stuff you're going to find at, like, Game Over Games. Yeah. But there's going to be... It's going to be educational, guys. Yeah. Because it's a museum. You know what else is educational? What is it? Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, that Bob Ross. Every Mondays. On Twitch. From 3 to 9. 3 Which to 9 it? in West Coast time, right? Because yeah, I heard it was 5 to 11 in it, Central time. Isn't it like... I, I read 3 to 9 PST, Pacific Standard. Yeah. Standard, so yeah. So that's uh, 5 to 11 Central Standard and 6 to midnight <laughs> if you're East Coast. Why are you on the East Coast? What's wrong with the East Coast? What's right with the East Coast? It's the one hour in the future. It's <laughs> the only good thing about it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know where Jay's from, right? All the times that I, like, I've moved around a lot. I've never left the central time zone except for when I've lived overseas. 
Oh, so when you do it, you do it big. Like, I'm leaving <laughs> that hemisphere. It was either the East Coast or overseas. She made her choice. <laughs> Damn like, straight. East Coast? <laughs> Afghanistan, fuck yeah. <laughs> what does this ISIS do? <laughs> <laughs> oh no not it, good he's talking about the people from archer it's yeah oh, absolutely even... yep yep what are they getting renamed to again i don't know are they renaming it they, 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 I thought, they don't talk about it they just don't talk about it i thought that they had to I, rename it i thought that they would play that up like play up the fact that it's also a terrorist group <laughs> Um, back to Bob Ross, if you want to tune into Bob Ross. Speaking of terrorism, Bob <laughs> Ross. Twitch.tv slash Bob Ross. <laughs> oh, yeah. The <laughs> <one time. laughs> did you did you catch that stream, Jay? No, I didn't. So we were oh, at work, man. and he was painting Central Park, and he paints the Twin Towers, and I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> and she knew! And you can see, like, chat blowing up there, like, Bob, what's happening? <laughs> so... <laughs> Illuminati, <laughs> and so like his base color for trees is like a really really dark green but it looks black so he was painting those on each side of the twin towers and it looks like smoke oh my God. <laughs> and i was like oh man he knew the government snuffed him out <laughs> if you want to see that painting it's actually uh the episode with the painting of he used his contact paper and the central park view of tw- the twin towers is then become an apple <laughs> oh my god and then new york on the side contact paper <laughs> it was mind-blowing i am like i am in shock and awe of bob ross it's good to have on in the background before you go to sleep get that titanium white <laughs> boss ross boss ross god ross <laughs> <laughs> you Sorry. couldn't hear but mike just gave a really creepy laugh <laughs> Yeah, good, good. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to uh, TV news stuff. Uh, so, are any of you guys following Walking Dead? Yeah. Yeah. No. I'm in it. You're in it. Yeah. So they casted a Negan. Is that his name? Negan, Negan, one of those. Negan. I was hoping, based on the cat, I figured they were gonna cast Negan earlier. Because it felt like a kind of a long break between him and the governor, but and now that a thing happened a couple of episodes ago, the casting of Negan is no longer exciting. It's just like, okay, here's a new guy. So who is Negan into the Walking Dead universe? In the Walking Dead universe, he's a big bad, similar to the governor, but on a much higher extreme. Oh shit! Yeah, carries around a bat wrapped in barbed wire, calls it Lucille. Man means business killed a certain character in the comics that just died in the show whoa spoilers spoilers. i said a certain character it's not even like whatever it's like like confirmed (laughs) man oh man if they bring him back i'm never watching that show again (laughs) according to uh, comicbook.com the walking dead is most vicious villain has been casted as jeffrey dean morgan has signed for the role for uh for negan and he's going to appear in the la- yeah, the last episode of the sixth season. Yep. So final se- uh, final episode of the sixth season. Which should debut end of February. And two weeks later, you'll see him as Thomas Wayne in BVS DOJ. <laughs> oh, him? Yeah, he was in the trailer. Didn't you see it? Yeah, no, no. I, I didn't realize that was his name. Yep. That, that dude dies in everything. <laughs> he dies in the, as a comedian. He died as Sam and Dean's dad in Supernatural. He died in Grey's Anatomy. Oh, the comedian. <laughs> he every oh. T- <laughs> that dude has not... He, he, I think he's got it worse than Sean Bean. Did he die, <laughs> did he die in The Losers? No, he survived. <laughs> <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Sean Bean survived in The Martian, but you know. <laughs> Sean Bean was in The Martian? Yep. Oh. That's right. I actually got to see that last week into it or no uh, no i saw the martian i mean were you into it or no yeah it was it was good it was a good movie yeah i liked it did you laugh so you know who else got casted hey same segue that i was thinking of yeah high five <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah it worked <laughs> yeah one out of nine <laughs> it's a it's a growing podcast we'll get used to this <laughs> um so mariah carey was uh 
going to be Commissioner Gordon, apparently. Yeah. From the AV Club, they were saying that she was going to... Commissioner Gordon was going to get it. Uh, for the Lego Batman movie. For the Lego Batman movie. Which is the continuation of the Batman in the Lego movie. The Lego movie itself, not the Lego Batman video game movies. <laughs> which is a thing. So, according to the AV Club, it's been updated. It seems that Gotham's criminals may have been accepted the man's task. Blah, 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 the version of We Belong Together. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good place to stop. <laughs> <laughs> um... Where did it say that it was she, corrected? Uh, it's down at the very bottom after the advertisement. It says updated. Did they say... After what, the poll. It they, was underneath the poll. Did they say what her character will even do in the movie? The not Commissioner Gordon character? No. Mm-mm. It just said, oh, not that. Is this person. Hmm. It, will, it turns out the singer will actually be played by Hizanor. H-I-Z-Z-O-N-E-R. Oh, that... Okay. So who is that? I have no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, asshole. Like, oh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> there's a poll. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, that's nothing important. But it's not going to be Commissioner Gorn. Well, which, thank God. <laughs> yeah, really. But she will be joining the cast of, with Rosario Dawson playing as Batgirl and Zach Galifianakis, Zach Galifianakis playing as the Joker. And Michael Sarah as Robin. I, I can't see that. Well, you don't have to see anything. You just need to hear it. I know. Like, <laughs> all, all I think is Donald Glover's version of Michael Sarah. He's like, hey, guys. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it only works because Will Arnett is Batman. <laughs> and they were in Arrested Development. Oh, they have synergy. Ugh. No. <laughs> <laughs> just No. You don't like pop words, do you? No managerial buzzwords. No. The cloud. <laughs> it's not no managerial. The cloud, is. <laughs> the cloud is above us right now. There's a whole bunch of microscopic nanite data storage nanite. devices. <laughs> because uh, we put we applied science to Star Wars now. Metachlorians. Them too. I don't know. Polymimetic biblions. What? Because <laughs> <Gazorpa Zorp. laughs> <laughs> So, um, Mr. Science 3000, have you guys any watched it at all? A couple times. Uh, in high school, we would watch a couple of bad animes and we would do it Mystery Science Theater 3000 style. Well, they're looking to actually get funding again through Kickstarter. So, we could see them back on TV or actually doing full fledged. Uh, episodes again. That would be awesome. They were doing, they were, they're still doing them, uh, riff tracks. It's the same people that do that. But they do it in movie theaters too, so like, the, I think the recent one they did was Sharknado <laughs> and Scream. So, Alright. Yeah, deserving. <laughs> deserving. Wait, can, what, can what do they need the money for? I, because I'm, it's, who doesn't need money? No, I just figure, like, those guys. I need money. I just figured those guys are so well known they could just like start up start putting out new episodes and get funding instantly instead of going to Kickstarter so I'm just curious as to where the money's going I don't know they were kind of like a cult hit yeah hmm. they they weren't quite mainstream though you could pay I think it was 89 cents for every riff track that you want hmm. so it's not like they're rolling in though uh, they're asking for 5.5 million for 12 episodes oh wow that's a full shebang. Yeah, five point five million is the target goal, but and they will to sell for at least two million in order uh, to make the first three episodes. Each one point one million they raise, it will lead three more episodes, knocking out their dream for twelve. Will it be a uh, will it be new movies or old movies or what? Are they specify any of that? They haven't specified anything. The show got cancelled back in nineteen ninety nine. So, we could help them again, guys, through Kickstarter. Screw the kid with, with cancer. And <laughs> that would be GoFundMe. Oh. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> I funded some kid in cancer then. <laughs> Kickstarter is all about them starting kicks. Starting <laughs> kicks. Is that their new tagline? 
<laughs> no, for real. I was looking through Kickstarter, and some guy w- had a Kickstarter for sneakers that lit up, and you could you could program the the rubber end at the bottom of the shoe to whatever colors you want. But we saw those in real life. Yeah, we saw them at the bar, but yeah. that, was a, that was a Kickstarter at first. Yeah. We yeah, we at, saw them in real life. We saw them at PAX at the, the pretzel place. Where mm. we had those hot dogs. I mean, it, pretzels. <laughs> it wasn't at PAX. Not PAX. Oh, I'm it sorry. was RTX. RTX. I was like, wait, Mick, was it PAX? No, it was at RTX, and we were in Frank with the hot dog place. I remember the hot dogs. I don't remember the shoes. The dude was at the bar. You, were, you was- were facing the wrong way. Yeah, okay. because Nick was sitting to the left, oh, okay. and you were sitting yeah, directly yeah. across from me. me. He was at the bar. the yeah. The guy with the sneaks, the pumped up kicks. Did I really call them sneaks Pump. just now? You called them pumped up <laughs> kicks, and I'm thinking about the what song. Forty five. <laughs> I, I did not mean to call them sneaks. They were supposed to be sneakers. I don't know what just came over me. <laughs> Look at you and your fancy dancy sneaks. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'll shut up now. So the other thing in film news is Finding Dory is a real thing because the trailer actually came out. The teaser trailer, at least. Yeah, it's been announced. Like, Ellen announced it probably, like, what, five years ago? Yeah, she she's not- been waiting 11 years for this show. I mean, she yeah. announced it, like, a couple years ago. And then this, you know, yesterday I saw, like, every girl on my Facebook going crazy. I was one of them. Thank you very much. <laughs> you liked it. I shared it. And so I saw the Finding Dory trailer. And I was like, okay, call <laughs> me when it's Incredibles 2. Going back to bed. Fair. Is that still happening too, Incredibles 2? Yep, 2019. Oh, they put a date on it? Awesome. Or they put a year at least. It's kind of narrowing it down. Won't come out till I'm what? What? 26, 25. I, I don't know how to do else. mouth. I heard wet. That's why I heard it. it won't come out until you're wet. I'm like, excuse me, sir? I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> when that movie comes out. You said 2019? <laughs> yeah. 20, 2015. Wow. That's math. four years? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 26. 26. Go ahead. Try new math. Break it down into... No. <laughs> fuck that. Into tens. That <laughs> takes way too much work in my brain. Here, here's a marker that you can draw on the desk if you want. Awesome. I want my marker back. Scribble, scribble, scribble. <laughs> Don't draw <on> my desk. <laughs> uh, we had a arcade block. I subscribe to arcade block over here. And I am willing to give some of the stuff away. This week, uh, this month, it came with uh, like Titanfall Connect stuff. We'll take pictures of it pretty soon. A Black Ops 3 t-shirt. Uh, Fallout vinyl figure so we will put the description uh, details in the description below or share us and we'll count shares and we'll announce the new uh, announce a winner or winners next Tuesday or for Tuesday for Wednesday's recording and one lucky winner will get Jay's TV no 46 (laughs) inch Samsung curved just come to his house and pick it up be on your way (laughs) <laughs> can I can it's I enter? Podcast is official. No, it's not. <laughs> can I enter? No, yeah, you can enter. What? No. Actually, you can save yourself the time and just take it home right now. No, I will beat you. <laughs> <laughs> I will beat you friendly. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have a system to play on it, so it would no. just be collecting That's, dust in my you'd house. Be, you'd be more inclined to steal my PS4 than the TV. That's the thing about the TV; you can use it for anything you want as a skateboard. Ooh. As an ironing bench. Ah. As a washboard. Oh. So this is going to wrap up for this episode <laughs> of the Old Cast Podcast. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter. Uh, Twitter.com slash oldness. You can find me, S3 Prototype. Um, pretty much all the social networks. You can also follow us on Facebook.com slash oldness. Uh, Mick, where can we find you? At Miss Mix Bass. On all the social medias, pretty much. That, that's what M-I-S-S. What was the last thing they tweeted? What was the last thing I tweeted? Well, I, am I, should I be paranoid? <laughs> what was the, I don't know what the last thing I tweeted was. Christian, we're going to find you on the social medias. 
Twitter.com, Chris Marinin. I also post stuff on the site, Boltness.com. And on the <laughs> on the Fallout forums, from Vault 420, High Blaze in it. XXX, hash, catch him, XXX. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, Codsworth might actually say that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you make hash, catch him. <laughs> Also, my last tweet was a picture of the last three-hour finale countdown for the Bob Ross live stream with the hashtag The End Is Nigh <laughs> on November 6th. That was my last tweet. Also, every Thursday you could find me uh, twitch.tv uh, slash altness or S3 Prototype. I will be streaming live every Thursday night, so tomorrow it may be Fallout or Black Ops 3. And I have Borderlands now, so there's that. Or Borderlands, too. Mick... We can do pre-sequel too, if you have that. Yeah, or if, you know, team up with us. You can do split screen if you want. What, me? Or... Yeah, you. Uh, hmm. Thursday's on busy, though. Okay. Well, anyone else on the internet? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, at the end of the semester, I'll probably hop on and join. Okay. But... Like I said, every Thursday night, I might be playing in Joe, might be playing Fallout, uh, Borderlands 2. 